shine for you, Jesus. It was such a relief to know that we were walking away from Pharaoh and his mistreatment. We were heading to what God had planned for us. We were all tired of walking, but we had to keep going. God's great power had rescued us, and he had promised to guide us to a wonderful land where we can live in peace. That's when we saw it. Pharaoh and his men were heading our way. Pharaoh changed his mind and wanted the Israelites back ASAP. What was in front of us blocking our path? Water. A lot of it. We couldn't go around, and the Egyptians would catch up to us. We were trapped. I had to do two things. Make sure that the Israelites were calm, and ask God for help. I called out to the people, Don't be afraid. Just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. And then I turned to God for help. That's when I heard God speak. Why are you crying out to me? Tell the people to get moving. Pick up your staff and raise your hand over the sea. Divide the water so the Israelites can walk through the middle of the sea on dry ground. The Lord opened up a path through the water with a strong east wind. The wind blew all night, turning the seabed into dry land so that we could walk on dry ground in the middle of the sea. There were huge walls of water on each side of us. God was protecting us, and we just had to trust Him. God had our backs. During the day, He put this insane pillar of cloud that turned to fire at night right between us to protect us as we walked through the walls of water. When we safely made it to the other side of the sea, God had told me to raise my hand over the sea again. The waters covered the Egyptians that tried to follow us. God protected us. He always makes a way for us. Look at the Red Sea. God dried the land for us to walk across. What a wonderful miracle. We need to always remember this so that the next time we face an obstacle and think there is no way out, we can stop and think about God is always with us. We kept following the path that God had laid out for us. He called all of us to be rescued from the Egyptians, and now it was up to us to continue to trust Him as we continued our journey. The promised land awaits for us. And so we were off again. It was definitely a rocky start, but we only have more challenges in front of us. Right now we're heading into a desert land with no food or water, and it will be very hard for us to keep our eyes on God with all of these struggles, but I know we can do it. Hey kids, I'm Kyle. Welcome to week three of our Moses series. Moses' story just seems to keep getting crazier and crazier. Pharaoh finally let them leave and then changed his mind. I want you to put yourself in Moses' position. Imagine you're being chased. You don't know where to go because there's an obstacle in your way. And to make matters worse, there are thousands of people staring at you for answers. What would you do? Tell the person next to you.
Do you remember what Moses said when he realized that they were trapped between the Egyptians and the Red Sea? He called to God for help. That seems like a perfectly normal thing to do. You know, when we're afraid or worried, our first reaction should be to reach out to God and ask for his help. And we have to remember that God always makes a way for us to follow his amazing plan for our lives. So today, we're learning God always makes a way. Hey, let's all say that together. You guys ready? God always makes a way. God was already with Moses and was guiding him. All Moses had to do was trust in God. When Moses called out to God, he was probably experiencing a lot of doubt. But God reminded Moses that his power was already with him. All he had to do was use it to do what he needed to do to save the people. God helped Moses part the Red Sea. That's pretty insane. They never would have outrun the Egyptians if they tried to go around the water, but when they trusted in God to help them, they did the impossible. There will be obstacles in the way in our lives. Our paths aren't one straight road that all goes the same way to God. There will be obstacles in the way in our lives. Our paths in life aren't perfect. So many problems and temptations get in our way as we try to follow God. But one thing we have to remember is that no matter how hard the obstacles we're facing are, God will always make a way for us to get back on his path and his plan for our lives. God always makes a way. Let's all say that together. You guys ready? God always makes a way. So the whole point of this week's lesson is learning to trust in God. Moses had to trust God throughout so many parts of his life where things seemed scary and unsure. But this week's lesson especially points to trusting God. When God made each of us, he designed an amazing plan for our lives. In the first week of the series, we talked about how God chose us. And he did. He chose each of us and made us unique. He chose an amazing plan for us. And part of living in and experiencing that plan that he has for us means that we have to trust him. We see in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, what his plan is for each of us. It says this, then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. God's plan for us is good, just like God's plan for the Hebrew people was good. There may be things in our lives that make us sad or confused or even doubtful. You know, the Hebrew people saw God's amazing power with the plagues when they got to the Red Sea. They doubted what to do, but God made a way for them. They had to trust in Him. God always makes a way. Let's all say that together. You guys ready? God always makes a way. And when we make Jesus the leader of our lives, he wants us to fully trust him. He wants us to fully trust his plan for our lives. You may have an obstacle in your way right now that is stopping you from fully trusting God. Maybe you're nervous about God's plan for your life. Maybe you're questioning if you should trust God at all. I want you to remember that God's plan is perfect. You may have a big obstacle in your life that is stopping you from trusting God, just like that big red sea. It could be that you're not sure about God. It could be that you're experiencing some sadness in your life. That's an obstacle that is stopping you from trusting God. I wanna challenge you to give that obstacle to God just like Moses did, and God will make a way. God will take care of you when you trust him. All you have to do is talk to God and ask for his help. God always makes a way. Hey, let's all say that together. You guys ready? God always makes a way. Do you trust God in your life? Think about some areas where you trust God the most. And what are some areas where you need to lean into God and trust Him more? Why do you think you struggle with these areas? The next time that you need to lean on God, just remember that if Moses and the Hebrew people could walk through dry land, God can help you with your obstacles too. And maybe... You're ready to make Jesus the leader of your life right now so that you can start trusting God and his amazing plan for your life. You can do that with me right now. Just pray with me. Dear Jesus, we lift you up today. You are perfect. Thank you for all that you have done for us. And Lord, I want to trust in you. I want to give my life to you. I want you to be the leader of my life. So come into my heart and change me. Allow me to follow you every day of my life. Amen. If you made the decision to let Jesus into your heart today, please tell a leader, tell an adult, tell somebody around you. This is something that should be celebrated. And don't forget, 
Trust God in all you do. He is there for us and wants to guide us through those hard times. But it requires trust in Him. I know you can do it. Hey, I'm Hannah. How cool would it be if you could walk along the bottom of the sea? Do you know how much water would have to move in order for that to be possible? God's power is so incredible that He has performed miracles like that and more to protect His people. God performs miracles for us daily that we aren't even aware of. When we trust in God, we can let go of our worries and live in the path that God has created for us because He always makes a way. Now it's time to practice our memory verse. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. For I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. Joshua 1 verse 5. God always makes a way. Let's all say that together. Ready? God always makes a way.